我们要做听力 part 了，最难的 part。而阅读整个难度，我觉得非常适中啊，可能是因为我在那边一直讲着。For many people, language acquisition starts at around about 12 months when kids say their first word. But don't forget the first year. That first year of life is very important as well. And indeed, before you're born, remember there are a couple of months before you're born when you're actually able to perceive in the womb something of the language that's around you. So language acquisition starts earlier than most people think, and it also ends later than most people think. When does child language acquisition stop? Well, in a sense, you know, we're we're all children. We we stay being children all our lives. There, there's there's no obvious end point for for learning sounds. Of course, there is, and for learning grammar, there is. But vocabulary, oh, I mean, that goes on for the rest of our lives. A million or more words in English, and most of us only have a vocabulary of fifty, sixty, seventy thousand words or whatever it is. And so there's always something more to learn. So remember that the two ends of child language acquisition are wider apart. Than some people think, and that means there's more scope for studying it than most people think. Ah, this is a gizin. Ah, we just simply wrote it, okay? Okay. 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 This lecture mainly discusses language acquisition. Firstly, the speaker mentioned it starts earlier than people think, even before we we are we were born. However, this after that he highlighted it also ends later than people think. For example, people can never finish learning vocabularies. I believe language acquisition has a wider range of part than we believe. 啊，好吧，就这样吧。下一题，这是个基金啊，就感觉都是基金啊。啊，这个 score test D， 呃，明显比前面三套的这个基金含量要高很多啊。The topic we're going to focus on is the population challenge for the 21st century. Now, what is that challenge? Well, I think what is interesting about population is that at the end of the 20th century, we saw tremendous changes, which are going to follow through over the 21st century. And basically, our population is changing in size; it's growing very rapidly. We currently have about seven billion people on the planet. That has probably doubled in the lifetime of most adults in this country. It is going to increase, we think, to around about 10 billion, and then it'll probably flatten out. It's changing in its density. We're all becoming far more urban. Currently, we have about half the world's population living in an urban area. That will increase to 75% by the middle of the century, and to about 80 to 90% by the end of the century, when nearly everyone on the planet will be living in an urban area. Distribution of population is changing. We're becoming mobile in a different way. Traditional migration patterns are changing. Who migrates is changing. Where they migrate. And probably, I think one of the greatest challenges is a massive change in the age structure of the population. In so much as across the world, women are having less children, and as a consequence, as we're also living longer, the age composition of our population is changing. So, for example, by the middle of the century, for the very first time, there will as be as many old people as there are young people on this planet. This is not difficult. Ah, talked about population change. Ah, 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 我们就说 double 的吧，好不好？他还说了个什么 ？Distribution， 
Distribution change equal嗯，嗯，我知道很多同学可能记了很多数据，比如说这个地方其实我也记了很多，比如说他原来只有百分之二十五的人口在 urban areas， 可能接下来会有百分之八十到百分之九十的人啊，他说 nearly everyone is living in the urban areas。那这个其实我个人觉得，如果你并不是特别有把握，你没有必要写啊。你像我就基本记了，但是我也不一定会写。那呃，主要是为大家的一些小问题准备的。那么，如果说大家呃很有很有把握在考场上的话，那么当然写了也不会有太大的问题，好不好啊？所有简单句啊，就是保证语法不要出错。然后就就这样差不多可以，好吧 ，next。I guess the the most interesting thing that I can bring to the table here today、uh, is the fact that we are considering at Warwick、um, the idea of general education for all incoming undergraduate students. Now, for those of you who aren't from the United States, it's quite common in the United States for students to only major after their second of a four-year. Undergraduate degree, and so they have the first year or two actually to sample many different courses across the curriculum, and this is called general education. This is not very common,、uh, not in this country nor in Europe, where in fact students come in specialized, right? They already come in with a subject that they're choosing, they've chosen,、um, and.、Um, The idea behind having general education now、uh, is basically because whatever specialist kind of subject that you're trained in、uh, is unlikely、uh, to be a source of a lifelong career in any sense of the word, no matter what the subject is. There is always a choice on exams that I give. And I tell my、uh, students uh, that uh, when you're writing an exam, remember、uh, the following: one, answer the question.、Uh, you'd be surprised how often people don't answer the question. They they have some things they'd like to talk about, so they talk about that. But think of the poor examiner.、Uh, he or she thought so hard to try to make a nice question, and their feelings are hurt if you don't answer the question. It's not good to hurt the examiner's feelings. Okay. Now the second thing is, when you ask the question, know your stuff.、Uh, you should be fully in charge of the material and lectures and reading. And then third, it's helpful if you think for yourself. If the exam is intelligently designed, you should have some、uh, opportunity to exercise your critical abilities. And fourth, it is immensely helpful if you can write、uh, coherent English. 扎心了，是不是最后一个？我并不觉得刚刚那个题目设置的很好。So palm oil is the most widely produced oil crop currently.、Um, it's used in a wide range of industries, including food for biofuels and in soaps and shampoos. However, the sector is growing fast. And unfortunately, palm oil grows in exactly the same environment as、uh, tropical rainforest. It, so the use and the development of palm oil, the growth in the sector, is leading to wide-scale deforestation. What we're hoping to do is, if we can come up with an alternative, we can slow the growth of this sector, and and therefore、um, stop、uh, the wide-scale deforestation in Southeast Asia. 这个我还是很建议大家去记一下这个单复数啊。Environment， 像这个就是蛮明显的有复数啊，我不知道大家能听出来多少。这个就是蛮明显的，一定要给个单数。Alternative， 因为前面是 a 嘛，对吧？这个不知道大家会不会这个单词啊？
不要因为它变了词根词缀就不会了，对吧？啊，伐木 deforestation 啊 ，industries 啊，这个地方是有 s 的 ，environment 啊，这个应该是没有 ，development 有复数 ，alternative deforestation。呃，这个回头精讲的时候，我会跟大家讲一下为什么这个地方是呃啊啊，但是我们呃是 alternative a 开头的啊，大家可以注意一下这个发音，对不对？好，准备第二道题吧。两个空挨得很近啊。The early chocolate was quite unpalatable. It was um. They used to add things to it to make it、um, more palatable. So the early chocolate, they didn't know how to extract all the cocoa fat from it, so it was could be quite greasy. And if you made it as a drink, you'd have this sort of scum on the top.、Um, so they used to try and add things to it, like starch and things, to make it a more palatable product. So there were a lot of、uh, scandals around the kind of things they were adding to chocolate in the 19th century. So that by the sort of 1870s, 80s, there were people like Cadbury saying, "No, our chocolate is absolutely pure. We have this new process, the Van Houten process, which now extracts." All this horrible fat, and we can、um, use that to make eating chocolate. And now we have a pure product. Ah, I'm too bored. Ah, this word actually, I kind of forgot. Greasy is this word? Ah, yes, it's this word. This I didn't hear. Ah. Scandal. This is the last horrible. Later, we'll listen to this again. Okay. 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 Yeah, so I actually got interested in non-human animals by actually hanging out with them.、Um, as a as a college student, I had the opportunity to actually do some research with monkeys, and that actually brought me down to a very nice, warm Caribbean island where I got to hang out with a bunch of monkeys for the first time. And I think I can remember the moment when I first got interested, not just in their cognition, but particularly in their emotion, when I was hanging out on a beach that I was finding really beautiful and it was warm and there was a breeze. And I noticed there was a monkey sitting right beside me, who was like looking out into the water and seemed to be experiencing exactly the same things I was. And it just caused me to think, like, what what does he know about the world? What does he know about the scene? Is he enjoying it? Does he find this beautiful?、Um, and it was kind of a fascinating moment because I realized that you know, we now have these cool tools in cognitive science where we can answer some of these these big questions. Whether you have a pet dog or a cat or even a goldfish, right? You can't help but wonder. What they're experiencing, and if they experience some of the same things that you do. Hmm. This is not difficult. He talked about a beach in Narrabeen, and he said, "Right? Uh, birds are also following him to see such a beautiful scenery, right? He said, "Right? Now, he's very happy that there's such a scientific method to explain it, right? Ah, I think the first question is obvious, right? Her interest in thoughts and emotions, cognitive and emotions, right?" 啊，对吧？我可能我现在说这个是 peace thing， 因为我是 trying to answer about the things we're going down the， 对吧？这 goldfish 是哪里来的？对吧？比较诡异。Her work with monkeys 啊，我们选第一个，好吧？好，加油！ Computers have always been good at doing things that are really complicated for us humans, things like crunching insanely large numbers and running complex algorithms. On the other hand, computers have a really hard time recognizing a particular voice or face in a crowd, something most kids learn to do before they're even out of diapers. But things are changing fast. Over the next decade or so, machines will more easily mimic inherently human abilities, and they'll learn to do it much the same way we do, through experience. Experience in this case means computers will be fed data patterns over and over again until they're able to automatically identify a particular sound or image on their own. This process is called machine learning. 
，这个是怎么着 ？PT 在为自己证明吗？对不对？啊。However, as computers become capable of learning in a similar way to humans, ah, 最后一个吧。First, on this issue of media, on using phones and laptop, we're kind of having some backsliding. I got a few emails from people who said that the person next to them was on Facebook or using their computers or anything, and they were really annoyed by it. So remember the rule. There are one or two people here who sought permission to take notes on a laptop for various reasons, and but aside from that, unless you had express permission, no phones, no laptops during class. Okay, it's just not courteous to our guests, and it's really, it's harder to multitask than you think. Okay, well, I want to talk to you today about introversion and extroversion, which I have come to believe are as profound a part of our identities as our gender, and that therefore it's extremely important to know where we fall on the introvert-extrovert spectrum. And when I say this, I'm not talking about where do you appear to fall,、um, I, I'm, because in this extroverted culture of ours, we all tend to act a lot more extroverted than we really are, right? So I'm talking about who are you really? If you could spend your time exactly as you please, your your work days, your weekends, would you be more of an introvert or would you be more of an extrovert? Huh. Sustainability. Yeah, B T. We need to look at this. Nick, yeah, it's definitely something around balance. That's really what it comes down to—a more balanced way of living, and and balance being that it's in balance with the environment. And the reason why we're living an unsustainable life at the moment is that our consumption patterns, be it energy, be it products, be it food, are completely outstripping the world's ability to support us. So、um, that's why it needs. That that's why it needs ah.、Uh, It needs. It needs urgently looked at, looking at. Ah, 对吧？又被看到了。Computers. We started to have a dialogue with with technology, and so this is where the realms of science fiction, I suppose, can come in, is because in in the future there may be a chance of actually having quite natural interactions with computers, sort of vocally.、Um, now, part of that is, and some of the research I do, is understanding the psycholinguistics of that. So, understanding how what we can learn from human human dialogue, and looking at the phenomena in human human dialogue, and how we can apply that to human computer dialogue, and how design actually augments and changes that phenomena. So, an example would be that we don't. We don't tend to, in natural speech, we tend to align with each other. We tend to use the same words. If I was describing a bus, for instance, if you use the term coach, I would use the term coach as well. So that's that's called lexical alignment.、Um, now we seem to be doing this with we do this with computers as well, but the design of them actually changes the way that we do that. So the fact that we we think a computer is sort of maybe basic in understanding us changes the way we behave vocally. And so this is interesting because it gives us a window on how people. If there's a single piece of social science research that's really inspired you, what would it be? I think it was a book that Richard, my co-author, wrote and published in 1996, and it came out when I was a PhD student at the University of Berkeley, and it was called Unhealthy Societies. And we used to fight over it in the library because we we couldn't afford books, and somebody would take it out, and then you know we'd immediately put in a request to get it back. So it, people only had it for a very short time. But that was a book about inequality and about health, but a very, very rich text with lots of examples. This is really hard to find the word you want to find. I'm exhausted. It's a little hard. If you miss the word, it's on the bottom. I'm a bit sad.
Cooking is such an amazing way to learn about science. Many of us cook every day, but when you start to think about why the recipes work, why is it that when you knead bread it has this remarkable texture, or why is it that candy recipes work as they do, or how is it that you cook eggs in a way that it comes out to be perfect, you immediately are led to thinking about basic principles in science. You will need to read chapter one before the management class. Ah, 这个地方其实我还蛮想告诉大家，其实你就直接写这个就可以，数字。啊，如果你不确定的话呢，你就都写上就好了。You will need to read the chapter one before the management class. 好了，注意一下这些的啊，的啊，这个肯定是要有的的。The seminar provides an opportunity to exchange ideas with other students. Ah, so here you may not remember if it was an idea or an idea. So we will write it here too. Yeah, an idea with other students. The seminar. Provides an opportunity to exchange ideas and ideas with other students. 其他我们是确定的，好不好？那我们这道题当中只有最后一个 W F D 了。OK， 走着。Let's go back to chapter one. Accountancy students need a good understanding of profit and loss statements. Accountancy student. Ah, here, if we don't sure, we can just write it down. Students, students, you. So here, we need to change it. One needs a good understanding of profit and loss statements. Okay. This question should be about this. Uh,基金啊，啊，有同学可能不是很确定，说那这里的话是accounting还是accountancy？哎，居然打不下了，生气，好吧，那我们就不管了。我听到是他accountancy，这个回过头来我们精讲的部分可以再讲一下，好不好